And for many Mardi Gras crews, the work that goes into preparing to ride in a parade can last all year long. Yeah, it takes a ton of work to put one of these parades on. Many crews offer up custom throws that can take hours to make, just the throws alone, and usually result in a lifetime of glitter that you can never truly get rid of. We caught up with some of the members of the crew of King Arthur, set to ride for their 45th year on Sunday. These are the places, the, the dark, bright, glittered corners of New Orleans where Mardi Gras is created. This is the Gilded Grail. It's a place where plastic grails are transformed into works of art for the King Arthur Parade. We're creating custom throws that people are going to bring into their homes and people are going to remember the parade and they're going to remember they caught it. Justin Slayton goes all out creating some of these masterpieces. So we wanted to know how exactly is it done? I like a, a medium sized brush. Some people like small ones. Some people like huge brushes. It just depends on how you how you work. And then we have Mod Podge here, which is, which is a glue, it's a crafting glue. And so what you do is you just pick a little bit up and then you're just going to go slowly across the grail. And what you want to try to do is just get a thin layer across the whole grail. And then you just slowly, you're just going to sprinkle the glitter where your glue is. There's no right or wrong. You can shake it. You can dump it. Literally, it's all about you having fun. After the basic glittering, their imaginations run wild and anything is on the table. One day I was like, I think I can make Audrey too. And uh, what Audrey 2 is really made out of is a, uh, a foam that hardens. Uh, it's very super lightweight. So these are plastic uh, leaves. And then you just, this is the shape of uh, Audrey's head. And all you're doing is putting the Mod Podge where you want that color to be. And then the blood coming down is just hot glue with glitter on it. So I, I put it on a dowel rod, let it slowly uh, drip down in front of a fan. And then it just hardens like that. Amazingly enough, they aren't sad to see them go even after putting in so many hours of work. I, I just look for what grail I have and then who might like it. Sometimes it'll be, you know, what the person's wearing or, you know, the grail's just talking to me. It's like, okay, it's time to throw it. It's a way to give back to the city as the city has given to us. By the way, the King Arthur Parade rolls uptown starting at 1 o'clock on Sunday. It's actually one of three parades rolling uptown on Sunday. <laughs> and we've all got our grails. Yours is, is she was a totally decorated. It's Tiffany Yours and is silver. Theme. Mine is kind of gold. This, this is the actual holy grail. Huh. So our, why did you get that one? Our executive producer, well. <laughs> get out of here. I think mine's kind of like the before. Our executive producer Leticia got me the uh, the Holy Grail here. So mine's got diamonds inside, so I win, Eric. Well, yours is kind of the glittery Grail. There you go. Again, the Holy Grail. Wow. Uh -huh. All, All right, right, guys. So